Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Dylan with Frontier Precision. And I've got a tech talk for you here today um, about importing station offset elevation points into Trimble Business Center from a CSV file. Uh, so the methods to go about doing this require a, a couple things. Uh, one, that you have an alignment, um, and then two, that you have a CSV file that contains your points. Um, I'm gonna open up the CSV file in uh, Notepad. Usually the easiest way to edit this and as you can see, we have a point station offset elevation code file here. Um, one thing we, or the thing that we need to do to make sure that this works out okay is that we remove any header that might be there. So we need to delete that line. And then in place of it, we actually need a header that says TVC Excel, just as I've done here. And make sure you have no commas or anything after that in that line. Okay, and then the rest should be fine. You can choose to use a point ID or not, it's up to you. So if you don't have a point ID, um, it'll work either way. So now that I've edited my CSV file, I'm going to save it and close it. Make sure you close the CSV file, otherwise the import won't work. All right, so the next thing you wanna do here in TVC is import your alignment first. So let's import that alignment. You can see that there. And then now we can open up the import pane. So we'll actually use the import pane. And I'm using version 5.70, which has a new style look of, an, of the import pane. Um, just make sure you browse to the folder where the file is located, the CSV file specifically, um, which is in a folder called station offset import. So if you're not on this latest version of TVC, you will have to navigate directly to that location through this browse window. Uh, but in the new version, you can actually open up folders within folders, which is really nice. All right, so here's my CSV file. And because I have that TVC Excel header, um, it's, it's noticing that as an import capability for station offset elevation. If you don't see station offset elevation here for the file type, you can right click, um, right click on that, and then you can set the file type to one of these options here. Choose station offset elevation. And then make sure you check the settings window here in the importer as well. Uh, you can import as points or stored cross sections, it's up to you. So create points, yes, that's what I'm going to do. Um, do you wanna read a point ID, yes or no? So do you have a point ID in the CSV file? Uh, do you want to create them as dependent points? So what that means is if it's dependent points, it's going to be dependent on uh, on the alignment to location. So if you do change anything about the alignment, then the points will update with that. Um, so that's a dependent point. Here, I'm just gonna import them as uh, independent points. So I'll choose no. And then we can choose a specific alignment here in our um, project. And so you can see my alignment there. And we'll finally hit the import button. Okay, if you didn't set up your coordinate system, you'd see something like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay. And now my points are imported via station offset elevation. You can review those points, Let's select one of them, and you'll get your grid northing easting elevation. So these are imported as, uh, as grid only points, um, as, as you can see there, um, but that should hopefully get you going if you need to import a set of station offset elevation points from a CSV file.